Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about shortcuts in a Microsoft Fabric. It is a very interesting feature which is available in a Microsoft Fabric and that is going to make your life very 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 easy. So let's try to understand what is a shortcut. A shortcut in a Microsoft Fabric is a virtual pointer that allows you to reference a data that is stored into a different location without copying or moving the data. So what is a shortcut? Shortcut is a one of the feature that will help you to access a data which is available into a different location. For taking example, suppose I am working in a company, I have a two team. One team is a using this particular workspace and suppose I have another team that they are using this particular workspace. Now whenever they are working into a different team, right, definitely they are going to work on the different kind of the files, they are going to create a different kind of the tables, right. Now, suppose this whatever they are using the files here in the workspace to whatever the files and the table they have created. Now this actually, this actually, this workspace one team they want to access, they want to access. Now in previously, previous case what actually we were doing, in this case we had to copy a data into a workspace one, right. Instead of doing that, what actually we can do, we can create a shortcut. Instead of moving and copying a data, what actually we can do, we can create a shortcut and with the help of the shortcut, we can just point to this particular files and the table whatever is available into this workspace and we can use into this workspace. So this is a very interesting and very cool feature which is available in a Microsoft Fabric. Instead of copying and moving the data from one location to an another location, what actually we can do with the help of the shortcut, we can just point to that particular location and we can use that particular file. Let's try to take another example so that you will get a better idea. So suppose I have a two team, I am working in a one company. Suppose I am working in a one company. In this company I have a two team. Suppose I have a one team that is a marketing team. And suppose I have another team that is a, a data engineering team you can say. Data engineering team. Now marketing team has all the customer engagement data. Suppose marketing team has all the customer engagement data. Engagement data. This particular data marketing team has. Now as a product data engineering team what actually they want to do? They have a product sales data. They have a product sales data but they need a customer data also so that they can do a complete analysis. So that they can do a complete analysis with the customer. Now in this case, instead of copying a data, right? Instead of copying the data which is available into a marketing workspace, instead of copying the data which is available into a marketing workspace, what actually we can do? We can create a shortcuts. We can create a one shortcut. Now this shortcut will help you whatever the file which is available here, right? With the help of that, we can access into a data engineering workspace itself. Means data engineering team, they don't need to copy your data again here. What actually they can do? They can just create a shortcut and whatever the file is available here, right? They can access it. So that is a very cool feature. Instead of copying and moving, you, we can just create a shortcut and we can access the data which is available into a different workspace and the location. So I hope you got the idea what is a shortcut. Now let's understand why shortcuts are very useful. It avoid data duplication. Like you do not have to copy your data again and again whenever you are copying a data again and again, right? Data duplicacy happens, so it avoids the data duplicacy. That is the one advantage. Now the second thing is like, it maintains a single source of truth. It helps us to maintain a single source of truth. Instead of creating a multiple tables, right? What actually we can have? We can have only one single source of truth and all the team, they can use it. That is the another advantage. The third one is like, enable collaboration across team. So we can give a share access, right? So it will help us to enable the collaboration across the team and all the team they can use the single source of truth of the data and they can collaborate. So these are the advantage we have whenever we use a, uh, shortcuts. Now there are two types of the shortcuts you have to understand. The first one is the internal shortcut, internal shortcut and the second one is the external, external shortcut. Let's understand what is the internal shortcuts. So in an internal shortcut, what will happen? So within a one leg, so whenever you will create a fabric account, right? One leg will be created. Now under this one leg, you can, 
we can have a multiple workspace right multiple team they can work and they can store their data now within a one leg if you want to reference the data across a multiple workspace then what actually whatever the shortcut you will create that we will call it as an internal shortcut now coming to the external shortcut suppose your data is available outside of your one leg for example suppose my data is available in a s3 location suppose my data is available in a gcp location this is the outside of your one leg right now in this case if you are creating any shortcut to reference the data that we will call it as a external shortcut that we will call it as a external shortcut which is not available within a one leg this is the outside of your uh, one leg so i hope you got the idea what is a shortcut in a Microsoft Fabric? In next video, we'll try to do a practical and we'll try to understand more.